and welcome back to Sunny Beach yet again. It's November, it's rather chilly, so we have a walk down the beach, uh, walk back through the very deserted resort and end up having a coffee trying to warm my fingers up. And Dobra Den from a sunny, sunny beach. You've got blue sea, blue sky, it looks fantastic today. But it's only four degrees. Yes, yeah, Monday the 27th of November, but a very, very cold weekend. Luckily it picks up again tomorrow. Oh, and I was a bit late getting here this morning because I was too busy finding my woolly hat and my gloves and my winter coat because that wind is quite chilly. So I'm going to go find now a nice shaded spot to keep away out of the wind so while Andrew goes on and has a look at the digger. So I actually caught the guy on his dinner break. He's been having a rest for a few minutes, a cup of coffee. Um, as you can see, the digger is only, what, 20 metres from the jetty now. It's nearly finished this section. It was only last Tuesday, a week ago, that we were right at the far end there at the Majestic Hotel. They've come a long way. So they've got almost halfway here. Fantastic. And uh, it's a beautiful day out here. Look at this. You wouldn't think it's as cold as it actually is. My fingers are getting cold just standing here. But the sun is absolutely beautiful and you can feel the heat in the sun. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> it won't be long now before this, this is completed. Another week and we'll be at the far end at New Nessie Bar. If we'd come down here on Sunday, yesterday morning, I'd have actually still seen snow on the top of these mountains here over the trees. But the sun, when it does come out, is very warm and that is all gone now. Back to lush green vegetation again. It looks absolutely fantastic today. Look at that, a blue sea, blue sky and beautiful green mountains in the background. Doesn't that look amazing? And there's a view up to Vlas. And uh, here's the second digger. The first one, just the side of the jetty there. This is the second one. They work in tandem. They each do a section and the other one jumps ahead of the other one. They're really getting along quickly doing this in a couple of weeks. I need to beat the next storm that's going to come in, in the, sometime in the new year, I expect. OK, we're going to leave the beach now. And the tractor and digger in the background there. We're going to leave the beach. Going to, going to head back through the resort and get a warming coffee when we're finished. Because uh, I need to warm my, my fingers up a little bit. It's a bit chilly. Well, he should have had his woolly gloves on, shouldn't he? Like me. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't film with woolly gloves on. Can't use the buttons. Oh, yes, it's getting a bit chilly now, me. Time to go for a coffee, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we definitely need a warm drink today. It's definitely not big beer weather. Oh, definitely not. No, we'll leave that for the summer. Yeah. We'll have them with all our uh, subscribers when they come in the summer. We'll share a big beer. Yeah, that would be nice. Right, we're going to just do a quick cut through here between the Neptune Beach Hotel and the Crazy Golf Course. <laughs> it's quite funny, really, because, I mean, it's so cold, we've had snow, and yet there's still flowers in the garden of the hotel. It's amazing, there's potted flowers over there. There's still a bit of colour around. So, this is one of the big hotels on the front that didn't open this last year because it was sold. This is the Helios. It's next to the Neptune. Uh, apparently it's going to be a Hyatt hotel. They never even tried to do any renovations on it this year. It just sat shut all season. So hopefully for next year, that's going to be open. Another hotel with a lot more bedrooms available in Sunny Beach. The old Helios is a lovely hotel. It's got a curved shape. It sits right on the beach. At the back is the promenade and the beach just across the pavement. It's fantastically located and to just sit empty it's a real shame anyway there's this beautiful obelisk on the front 
if you have a look at it closely, there's a key pattern. A little bit of a Masonic thing going on as well there. But uh, very, very interesting. And hopefully this next season, they're going to convert this to a Hyatt and it's going to open, which will be absolutely amazing to see. And to get all these bedrooms back in use again, which are really needed. All oh, right, we're going to go up this way now, past the Melia, up towards Five Corners. So, meet us up there. And you've got a friendly oh, cat. Oh, friend. Oh, oh, coming back. Come on. Hey, hey. Oh. I've got a little ginger cat here. Look at him. Uh, I think it's a girl. Oh, oh. cute. She's coming around my feet. There's another one over there. Oh, we're in a date with cats here. We're actually opposite the Olympic Hotel, the Olymp. And the Olymp, uh, somebody really feeds the cats here. There we go, I'll show you across the road there. They've got little houses and lots of food, so those cats are rather spoilt even on the front of the hotel there. But obviously they lack a bit of company and that's why they've just come, <laughs> they've all come running across to us, walking up the road. Right, we've made it now to the crossroads. This is where we had our meets and greets in the summer. Um, we're going to go in this little coffee shop. Now I did buy a birthday cake here for my granddaughter's birthday this year and it was very nice. So let's go get a coffee and a hot chocolate in here. Well, I've stopped and had a really nice coffee. That's very pleasant. Yeah, I've warmed up my fingers because it uh -huh. is cold. Should have had his gloves on. Yeah, so anyway, it's uh, chill chill for now. Ciao, ciao, everybody. Yeah, see you again later. Bye. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so far, so you don't miss any of our updates through the winter season, taking you through to summer 2024.